I'm going to use one of these dog foods to set my camera on. There we go. Dog food worked. Hey there everyone, it's Moose and thank you so much for joining me back here. I have a Moose on my shirt today. It's not just a YouTube thing. Isn't it cool? Anyways, today we're going to do my February wrap up slash my March TBR. I don't really have enough to talk about to make two completely separate videos, so we're just going to do both in the same video today. So in the month of February, I read three books, which I was really happy with. My goal on Goodreads is to read two books a month, which is a lot better than I did last year, especially going to school and everything too. The past couple semesters, I haven't really gotten to read anything for personal enjoyment. So the fact that I read three last month was a really big deal for me and I'm pretty happy with it. Now I did check out two of the three books so I don't have two of them with me but I'll just put pictures up here. The first one is An Enchantment of Ravens. I read that one at the very beginning of this month to the point where I kind of forgot about it. I kind of thought I'd read it in January but when I went back and I looked at my Goodreads stuff and I looked at the dates and everything I did finish it at the very beginning of this month. So I'm going to include that one in this list too. I really enjoyed that book. A lot of people didn't. Uh, it was a really quick read for me. I will say there are a lot of parallels between it and The Cruel Prince and I don't really know if that's like coincidental or if that's just a fairy thing and I just never knew about it. Maybe that's a good possibility too. Maybe a lot of the fairy world you know all have certain guidelines and stuff that people follow whenever they write within that realm but I don't know. Either way, I did really enjoy that book. Like I say, it's a quick read. I seem to like it a lot better than other people. I will say that. I just woke up, so I'm not, I'm not, my voice isn't awake yet. <coughs> the second book I read this month was The Cold Is In Her Bones. I did a whole video on both of those past two books, actually. This book was a big disappointment for me. I didn't care much for it. It's about demon possession of this small town, and the demon possesses girls who are under the the age of like 17 or 18. I can't remember specifically what age it is. But either way, that's what the book is about. And when I hear something like that, when I read the summary on the cover of the book, I thought this book was going to be intense. I thought it was going to be brutal and I didn't get anything like I was expecting. So maybe it was my fault I didn't enjoy this book. Maybe I just had the wrong expectations going into it. Either way though, I didn't enjoy this book. And when it really comes down to it, I wouldn't recommend it. So... That's how that one went. The Cruel Prince is the last book I read in this month. I really enjoyed this. This was a quick read too. It took me about 50 pages to get into it. I mentioned that in my reading vlog. But after I was into it, I was into it. You know what I'm saying? So it was a quick read. After I actually sat down and started reading it, you know, not just a couple pages here and there. When I sat down and started reading it, I read this book in like two days. So it was pretty good. I am planning on we reading, oh, reading. I am planning on reading The Wicked King next. Uh, that's on my March TBR, but we'll get to that here in a second. So, I really did enjoy this book. I would recommend it. I'm excited to see what the next one brings. So, moving on to my March TBR, I also have three books on this month's list. Even though two is my goal on Goodreads, I do want to read three this month just to say that I can and that I did, you know. However, I don't know how that's going to go. I know for a fact that one week out of this month is spring break. And I already have plans to go see my husband during that week. So, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done during that week. But, we'll see. Three is my hopeful goal. So like I just previously said, The Wicked King is on this month's TBR. I will for sure be reading this one this month. The other two I might not get to. This one for sure. I really like the cover, but I also really like the actual like hardback cover. Um, I don't like reading with dust jackets on. I think they're annoying. But I think this is really cool. Um, it's like a crown and it's got some like seaweed and, and all that kind of stuff around it but I think it looks really cool and I'm excited to read it. I really have no idea where she's going to go with this book. She left the last book off on such like a cliffhanger kind of you know it wasn't in the middle of an action or anything but I think this could go either way you know I and I don't know which way it's going to go but I'm excited to see. I also want to read Cruel Beauty this month as I said in a previous video of books that I have on my shelf but I haven't read yet. I've had this book for years and I don't know why I haven't read it. That video really helped me. It, it helped me really see what's on my shelf that I haven't read yet and I really don't know why. Like quit buying new books and read the books you already have, right? So I am going to read this book this month. 
maybe, hopefully, I plan to read this book this month. Lastly, if I have time, I want to read Stalking Jack the Ripper. This book is another one that I noticed on my video that I have had for a couple years and I just haven't read it yet for whatever reason. So, if I get through Cruel Beauty and The Wicked King and I still have time left, I do want to read Stalking Jack the Ripper. That's all I really have for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to do reading vlogs this month or not. I think they're fun. I just never really know what to say about them. You know, about the books that I'm reading as I'm reading them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back here next time. See ya! This month, I, for some reason I thought I ran it, read it. Oh, why can't I talk this morning? It started snowing outside, but not like a lot, a lot, but to the point where I don't want to go to class and I'm thinking about using it as an excuse. See, look, it's like covering the patio and stuff, right? I can use that as my excuse, right?